you how my autopilot works. This is my boat, you guys. She's a Selector 31. Ignore that. I just finished cleaning her. Uh, so <laughs> she's a Selector 31 foot. Uh, Van der Start design. Okay, so this is my autopilot. I'm a solo sailor. So the autopilot is really your best friend. You really need that uh, as a solo sailor because you got nobody else helping you when you have problems in the front with your fork or you need to do something with your uh, mainsail and what have you. Anyway, so guys, what you do is, as you can see, mine is uh, where I can attach my extension here. And what happens is, and then of course, uh, my the old owner of my boat uh, is uh, also a unique inventor. Normally, your autopilots, the they they do the holes in the uh, seat, not on the side. Mine is done on the side, so that I plug it in and uh, it's connected. I didn't turn on my battery. I just want to show you very quickly how to do this. Uh, what the autopilot is all about. You can see there's standby auto minus 10 I'll just zoom in for you there's a standby auto minus 10 minus 10 minus 1 plus 1 mm. so once your uh, autopilot is set as you can see mine my stick is stuck into the boat right here and I am set uh, so you know I choose the directions I want to go once I choose it I press auto and then it goes exactly on the direction I have set it on. So if I want it to be like maybe 10 mm less or something, I just click on this, it will move my rudder and then I am 10 mm less. And uh, you know, uh, then I press auto and then it starts on that again. So this is how you, uh, you know, your autopilot works. Uh, and of course, every autopilot is a little bit different here and there, but the, the final, uh, perspective of thing is that's what you wanted to do you wanted to move a little bit one one mm or one cm more or less or you can do a big uh, uh, turn so I would say every time when you go sailing guys uh, work with your autopilots do understand the negative side of an autopilot I mean it's great to have one but unfortunately she really takes your battery a lot so if you are the kind of sailors that are going for long distance sailing I would really not use the autopilot if it's not necessary because you know it's eating up your battery and you need your battery for emergency situations and things like that so I would not unless I really have to but one of the beautiful things that I do when I'm sailing and uh, I put it exactly in the center this is my my, uh, my best uh, way of doing it I put it on my rudder like this I do not plug it in so when I'm sailing to conserve uh, battery every time I'm sailing okay once she's set in I I don't need her to I don't need her to be in there but I do need her to be in this directions. I pull out the plug so I'm not using battery but the direction is good. I go to the fork, I fix it, I come back, I'm good. And then I remove it. So I'm actually there's little things like that, you know, it saves uh, your battery power. All right, so guys, um I got a call while I was taping this vlog for you guys. I got a call so it's cut halfway. Um so anyway, guys, um so let's recap what I told you. Uh, when I was talking about one mm, one mm, or uh, uh, I was talking about the distance from here, this angle. Uh, that's what what I was explaining about looking from here. But of course, it's one degree, ten degree on that angle when you are sailing. Eh? So bear in mind. So I was talking about here when I was describing how the rod movements were. I was looking at this focus and explaining it to you, but course when you are doing your sailing and you're looking out it's going one degree more or uh, 10 degrees more depending on what uh, what uh, what button you choose from here okay um, and another one I wanted to say about is uh, if you're long distance sailing uh, and you're a small boat I'm only a 31 foot boat so I have to be very conservative with my battery power so that is why I don't really use a lot of battery uh, when I'm doing long distance sailing but of course if you are a, a big boat and you know your battery power it's up to everyone you know know your battery power when you are going for this long distance sailing understand uh, what you 
you use so that you can make better judgments of, uh, of uh, the autopilot because she does use a lot of battery and of course you know know your boat if you know your boat you know what you can and cannot do with your uh, batteries how much you use per day uh, electricity wise and uh, it's a long distance sailing and you can make your own calculations uh, so but anyway so that's the recap on what I was explaining to you guys and uh, so if you have any questions or uh, if you want us to talk something else uh, in the sales school please let us know subscribe and uh, send us an email at info at sales school and uh, and now we'll help you out uh, share out what we know and our experience to you all right guys have a great day and see you in our sales school bye everybody